Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rucha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutation, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So uh, this is something uh, real quick, Lord willing, um, just seeing this article. It says JP Morgan leaps into metaverse. The Wall Street Bank has opened a lounge in blockchain based Decentraland. Decentraland. All right. And they got this picture right here, which um, right as of right now, all right, the technology that they have brought out because this has been, uh, you know, a commonly stated that the technology that um, that we have is about 30 to 50 years behind the actual technology that you know uh, uh these elites have all right these uh you know so-called scientists all right uh esau and his um different industries all right you know his darpa program okay uh, uh the the big tech of the world which is why they're able to you know every year come out with a, a new phone that is able to do something completely different than the last previous year's phone all right, that, that technology is not um, something that they just created within those 12 months. All right. Um, however, you know, with that being said, they have, uh, you know, the metaverse, which right now they uh, have it to where the, um, the masses of the people into this metaverse through a, you know, big um, virtual reality uh, handheld uh, what you will call it, like um, handheld uh, uh, glass glasses set, all right, which they call the Oculus, but other um, companies have something similar to that. But ultimately, you know, uh, through the spirit, um, this is going to be a part of the um, MOB, okay? That uh, that Karagma is going to be um, used as a uh, as a way to enter. Or be you know a part of this um you know metaverse all right and that's why you have so many you know uh, companies large companies all right so many people so many uh different uh businesses endorsing this okay so it says jp morgan chase announced on tuesday the opening of a lounge in the decentraland virtual world becoming the first bank to arrive in the metaverse according to the wall street bank the metaverse has a market opportunity of one trillion in yearly revenue as creators tap Web3 to monetize their work in new ways. Now, uh, going back to the article that I, um, you know, did a uh, lesson on earlier today, which the World Economic Forum published this um, earlier. I, I don't know if it came out today, but I, uh, I got the alert today. It says, uh, advancing digital agencies, the power of data inter intermediaries. All right. Insight of uh, report February 2022. So going back to right here. All right. Internet of things. Right. I have as you see, I have metaverse um, highlighted because they talk about the metaverse in this uh, 46 page uh, document, which they're basically uh, speaking uh, of the uh, digital identity and digital uh, uh, human connection that, you know, Esau, the system is uh, moving toward. OK, so it says the Internet of Things, IOT, it says a network of items, each embedded with sensors that are connected to the Internet. All right. So this is what ultimately they are, 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 are prepping the uh the world for is this transition into uh, uh, everything being connected to the Internet. All right. And that Internet is that Web three, um, that Web three uh, um, Internet. Let me see. I think I don't know if I if they had that here. Uh, yep, here we go. So it says Web three point oh or Web three. A third generation of the Internet, which is decentralized in nature and enabled by distributed ledger technologies. OK, so 
a part of this whole system, all right, which, you know, that can be um, attributed or connected to, you know, the five A, B, C, D, E, F, G as well. Those uh, those five A, B, C, D, F, G towers that they got around everywhere. All right. For that high speed uh, connection, Internet connection is so that ultimately they will have enough bandwidth <laughs> to, to be able to have this Internet of Things take off and everything embedded with sensors. And that includes humans. That includes uh, uh, people. All right. Them uh, people being embedded. Going back to what? The Karagma with uh, sensors so that they are connected um, always to the Internet so that ultimately they can be um, the, 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 the data from human to uh, technology data can be transferred um, in real time. All right. And that's why, once again, you know, as soon as this whole meta thing, uh, metaverse thing popped off when um, what's this guy? Uh, uh, Facebook. All right. When Facebook first uh, um, introduced it, I think that was what back in uh, October, maybe. All right. And, and within what the, ne the next three, four months and it's probably I don't know if it was October might have been even less than October, but I'm just saying October. Um, you have now all of these major companies are just hopping right on it as if <laughs> as if uh, uh, they was already expecting this to, you know, be be a um, the next stage. All right. Because a lot of these different um, CEOs. All right, uh, uh, owners, because right, the JP Morgan, all right, the Morgan family is a part of the elites, man. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so let's continue. It says, um, where were we? Yeah, working in a new way. It says the Onyx Lounge, named after JP Morgan's in house blockchain payment system, which you have a lot of these, um, and uh, the, a lot of these investment banking um, companies, OK, are now getting involved in blockchain. They're getting involved in that whole payment system of a uh, of crypto currency. All right. Payment system, which, you know, we've done lessons on what, you know, cryptocurrency and how that's tied to directly tied to the Karagma as well. All right. Um, it says was unveiled alongside a report. From the bank detailing metaverse related growth opportunities for businesses in the causes of its explosive interests. All right. <laughs> and ultimately, you know, they, they're they're uh, packaging this as if this is, you know, a great opportunity. You know, this is something that is going to uh, uh, benefit business and, and make it make payments easier and convenient. You know, everything's going to be convenient. But at what cost? All right. That's not what they're telling you. All right. But that's what the prophets are uh, telling you. That's what the warning. All right. The vision is telling us. All right. But a lot of people, they're seeing this and they're being deceived by the signs and the powers and the lying wonders that Esau is uh, portraying through his technology. OK, so reading on, it says visitors to the lounge situated in Decentraland's Meta Juku Mall are greeted by a roaming tiger and a digital portrait of the bank's CEO, Jamie D uh, Dimone. If players walk upstairs, they can watch an executive presentation on the economics of cryptocurrency. All right. And that ties right into CBDC, which a lot of these Fed uh, central banks are now speaking more and more about. All right. Uh, uh, the, the, the European Central Bank all right, the United States Central Bank, the uh, I've seen something earlier today talking about Russia. OK, China. All right. Everything is leading is moving into that fashion, man. All right. It says when you think about the economics of the metaverse or metanomics, there are opportunities in almost every market area. The bank wrote, we are not here to suggest the metaverse as we know it today will take over all human interactions and that's ultimately, <laughs> you see, they, once again, they, they make their tongue fall upon themselves because this is ultimately what they're moving toward. But this devil being a, uh, uh, a deceiver, all right, being a fork tongue, 
he will say, oh, no, 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 we're not saying that this is going to take over all human interactions, but you got you got McDonald's going in there. You got Nike going in there. You got uh, the banks going in there. You got different businesses going going in there. So if all these things that people, uh, Walmart, all right? So if all of these different uh, market areas that people use in their day-to-day reality life is going into this, is moving in toward this virtual reality life and putting, you know, uh, uh, time, energy, effort, resources into building up their virtual reality, would not that mean that uh, 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 human interaction is going to be forced into this metaverse as well? Because if everything people interact with is is moving there, <laughs> is moving toward that, then where are people going? What are people going to interact with? All right. How are people going to go? Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, if, if Walmart, for instance, is saying it's easier for you to go to uh, visit us in the metaverse than to actually go to a Walmart, then that's what people are going to end up doing. You see? So let's read it. It says we are not here to suggest the metaverse. And I'm not saying that people are going to end up doing it like uh, um, uh, people who are not aware. All right, I should say that people who don't have this knowledge and this wisdom. OK. It says um, we know it in today. So let me read it again. It says we are not here to suggest the metaverse as we know it today will take over all human interactions, but rather to explore the many exciting opportunities it presents for consumers and brands alike <laughs> buying and selling because the brands are the sellers and the consumers are the buyers. So they're, they want to explore these exciting opportunities. It says the report points out that the average price of virtual land doubled from 6,000 to 12,000 between June and December last year. All right. <laughs> 6,000 to 12,000 at six from June to December, that's six months. <laughs> of course, you know, ESO. All right. It says JP Morgan predicted that the end game advertisement advertising spending will reach 18.4 billion per uh, annum by 2027. This democratic ownership economy, coupled with the possibility of interoperability, could unlock immense economic opportunities. And this is once again why. They're uh, um, having this uh, vitality in the stock market today or why energy prices are skyrocketing, why inflation is skyrocketing. OK, while why, you know, unemployment is uh, uh, is is high. All right. Why people are not uh, what they say. Um, not, um, what's the other word? Job opportunities, job openings All right, the great resignation. That's what it's called. The great resignation. So many people are quitting jobs. All right. So they so they're having all of these economic toil uh, turmoil happening in reality, so that they can unlock this immense economic opportunity in where all right in the metaverse all right in this virtual reality okay where everything is connected through the internet by embedded sensors okay it says whereby digital goods and services are no longer captive to a singular singular gaming platform or brand said the bank. It is also noted an increasing mainstream adoption of the metaverse driven by interest from major brands like PwC, Walmart, Nike, Verizon, Gap, Adidas, Hulu, Atari. So all of the <laughs> those are big name people, man. OK, oh, don't uh, Samsung is also in there. All right. I uh, believe uh, uh, Microsoft. OK, LinkedIn. All right, which is is owned by um, Microsoft or Microsoft is owned by LinkedIn. I forget exactly which way it is, but all of these these big name um, mainstream uh, companies are all in involved in, in 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 spending energy and time and money into the metaverse. Now, like I said before, this all like I said, this ties into the Karagma, right? So now let's go back to this um, this document. So it says the opportunity. Speaking about the opportunity for the um, for this uh, uh, data intermediaries, all right, agencies. It says the now it says now the screenless technology is part now Salakia now that screenless 
technology is part of everyday life, there is an opportunity to rethink the human dash technology interaction paradigm and reposition the debate to focus on roles and responsibilities beyond the person. You see that? So they're 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 creating all right this stage to uh uh engulf human and, and technology and combine it into one. All right. It says, how can the use of data intermediaries help people navigate technologies and data ecosystems models without losing sight of what it means to be human? See, because as the guy Klaus Schwab said about the fourth industrial revolution, it will not only change the way you interact with each other, but it will change you. All right. So that's why they're making it seem like, oh, we want to have this transhumanism but we don't know we don't want to lose sight what it means to be a human because you're not going to be human all your interactions is going to be you know uh through digital it's going to be digital interactions embedded by people being embedded with sensors all right it says in terms of the agency and expectation how can people think beyond given that as they move toward the complexity of screenless metaverse issues um, their understanding of humanness is transforming. See, Esau is legit trying to change what it is to be a human. Remember, the Most High created man in his image, right? But Esau is trying to do what? Create man in his image through what? Technology. So he's trying to transform the understanding of what humanness is. Okay, this is what John the Revelator saw. And this is why if you take that karagma, the, the, the penalty is of it is death, man. Because you legit are saying that you are no longer uh 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 you no longer want to be in the image of the most high, you want to be in the image of Esau, the devil. Okay, and that's why you have to your that physical, <laughs> that body has to be destroyed because see Esau is doing all this, but the spirit Esau can't tap into the spirit. Right. But the body, the, 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 the body, which the Lord created and breath and, and put the spirit into that body. When you take that karagma, you're, you're, you're giving that body unto Esau, unto the beast. Okay. So it says, Data intermedi uh, intermediaries, especially digital agents, represent a new policy lever, uh, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to jump uh, to the next part where they mention the metaverse. All right. So it says this paragraph, it says, and what if there is no screen? OK, because ultimately, like I said, this data, I mean, this technology that they have right now, how you get into the metaverse with, you know, this 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 thing on your face. This is just this is just the uh, the forerunner, okay? They already got the technology to do this to get into the uh, metaverse without this big ass thing on your head, okay? And that's going to be by way of what the 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 uh, the karagma, which is why you got people like Elon Musk with the brain the brain uh, Neuralink, all right? It's no more. It's no coincidence that Facebook changed their name. To meta out of nowhere and then all this stuff is just starts popping off okay because once again the 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 they know that people are not going to walk around with screens on their heads all right you know those those virtual headsets on their heads all right that's not uh that's not uh um everything want they want everything to be small micro okay People are not going to be able to walk around, but you sh they show you in the movies, I mean, the TV shows and in the movies, uh, Black Mirror, all right? Watch those uh, TV, uh, those series on Black Mirror, man. That technology isn't no sci-fi, okay? Actually, even when you go into the word, the the, the, the breakdown of science fiction, okay, um, science means truth, and fiction, when you go into the breakdown of fiction, it means image, all right, or imagery. So science fiction really is is truth through imagery. And that's why they that's why 
They that's what they do when they show you things in movies, man. They're showing you uh, truth through imagery. All right, but a lot of people uh, believe that those things are 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 you know fake or far fetched or you know not not um not real. No, it just hasn't been given to the public yet. Okay, so reading on, it says ambient data collection through the uh, uh, through. For example, closed circuit television and connected devices is increasingly common. Getting to an acceptable, listen to this, getting to an acceptable default state is more urgent than ever as the world moves toward the creation of the metaverse where the metaphysical state of human technology interaction becomes ever more seamless. So they want the default state to be human and technology interaction being seamless. And what is that through? Through the creation of the metaverse, that human and technology interaction will be seamless. That is the default state that they want the world to be in. All right. That is what this is all moving towards. That is what the fourth industrial revolution is. OK. So uh, and they and they have the glossary here, which I, I was here in the beginning. Uh, Metaverse says a virtual reality space. OK. Virtual reality is basically augmented reality, which is basically a uh, false, a false reality. OK. <laughs> the same thing that the serpent deceived Eve with when he told her that if you eat this, this, uh, um, this fruit, OK, you, you know, which we know wasn't really a fruit. But if you if you take this ideology, you won't surely die. That was an augmented reality, man, because he said, no, you will be like a God. All right. That was an augmented. That was a it was a he told a part truth because they she would know good and evil. All right. And as a true God knows uh, balance, knows perfectly the both sides of good and evil. But he told her a lie also and said, you won't you surely won't die. So he augmented her reality. All right. And that's what a metaverse and that's what the virtual reality is, man. And that's what Esau, the serpent, is trying to do all over again. All right. To, to Eve, which is representation of Israel. So it says a virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer generated environment and, and other users. So Esau uh, uh, created this this world. All right. Through his technology, computer generated environment and everybody is interacting in this world that he created, not in the world that the most high created, because now he's God. Right. That's why the scripture says I am. That's what he says. He, uh, let me get it. He says that I am and none else beside me. OK. Um, what is that? Isaiah. Isaiah 47, verse 10, it says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it has perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Okay? <laughs> and, and that's Esau's mind, man. That's his perverted mind frame, his mindset. He thinks that he's doing all this wickedness in the back and, and, and doing all these things and presenting it as convenience, presenting it as a, a better way of life, but not thinking that nobody is 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 pointing the finger at him, showing telling the telling the world, okay, that this devil is the is 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 the is the wicked of the Bible. All right, he is the devil that the Bible speaks of, and everything he's doing it goes against the 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 order in the in the uh the way of the the true creator. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. And he says in his heart, I am and none else beside me. Because if you create a if you create your own world, your own reality, where you have the the uh the um the power through your technology to determine what happens and who who controls who gets in there and what you can do in there and all these different things, and you get though, and you get all of creation into that, all of humans, I should say, into that then that means you're the God of that world. And that's what Esau thinks he's going to accomplish. But no, you're not. You're not going to, you're, you're not going to get that off, man. All right. The Lord is going to, to strike you down. Now, one last thing. 
you know, through the spirit, I was uh, doing reading. And now when we go into, because we always go into Revelation 13 and 16, because that's the times that we're in. So it says that he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right now, when you go into the word foreheads, because it's metaverse, like I said before, they have it on your, your, your eyes. All right. They put that headset on your eyes, but that technology is outdated. And ultimately, that's going that technology is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, smaller to where you can enter into this virtual world, this metaverse. By way of what? The karagma. And and you're going to see it. <laughs> it's how bad the Lord is, man. All right. That's why the scripture says, seek ye out of the book and read. You go into the word forehead. Strong's G, 3359, Metopon. Metopon. All right. Metopon, which says the space between the eyes, the forehead. Okay. It's a compound word from G3326. And ops, the face, okay? And you had Facebook change it, change its name to Meta. All right. Facebook. Now you go to the uh the root of the first part, lo and behold, it is what? Meta. Okay? He pronounces it meta, but it's it's strong G right 3326 Meta. 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 All right. Or, or meta. Right? In, in the same definition. Because when you go into meta, uh, it means to go beyond. All right. To go after. Okay? And that right there shows you that this whole meta verse, all right, Facebook changing their name to meta. All right. And because they're the ones that basically broke this, uh, you know, made this thing uh, alive. Uh, um, <laughs> um, uh, um, they changed their name to Meta. So lucky, I lost my train of thought. They changed their name to Meta, and then once they came out and said that, everybody started jumping on that bandwagon. Okay, uh, of the metaverse. But right there, it tells you what the forehead, the root word is what Meta, because that's how you're going to. That's how they're going to adapt society and move society, cause society into uh, um, going into this virtual world is going to be through that karagma, which will be put into your metaphor, all right? Your metapon, or how, how, how are we pronounced it? Metaphon, okay? So, hey, man, <laughs> the Lord the Lord is bad, man. Call all your howabah shimmy shai because the scriptures tells you that... Um, Nothing, everything done in the darkness shall be shall be um, seen in the light, man. All right? And through the Spirit, I wasn't even looking for this, man. But through the Spirit, the Lord had me find that. All right? Luke 12, uh, verse 2, it says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Okay? And when these devils see this, they're going to be like, how the hell they find out? But hey, man, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is uh, uh, working, man. You devils think y'all... Y'all, y'all being hit, y'all doing y'all thing, and nobody seeing you. But how about Shimia Washai got y'all number? And you're being revealed, man, day after day. The, the Most High, through His Son Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, is increasing the wisdom. Okay, He's increasing the wisdom, and we're and we're seeing and and and, and, and unveiling things as you devils move closer and closer to your agenda, man. So you do what you got to do, but guess what? How about Shimia Washai already got you your ass checkmated, man. Okay, so I just want to bring that out, Lord willing. This is edifying to the elect. Till next time, Shalom.